Hello, we're good. Yes, gosh, this is nice, isn't it? Wow. Uh, I am from Australia, but I live here now. And the thing is, I almost feel like I'm becoming like a real kind of British person. Like, uh, I own my own pair of Wellingtons. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and I laughed at someone who ran for the bus and missed it. So, <laughs> welcome me as one of your own. Um, I'm pretty sure that's on your citizenship test, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, you didn't want the door to slam in her face. Uh, I don't think you get to fit in here, to be fair. <laughs> but it's funny when that kind of stuff happens to someone else. Like, it's a bit funny when something a little bit bad happens to someone else. You know, it's, it's OK that it's funny. Like, they laugh at you. They totally laugh at you, right? Like, I've seen some pretty cool stuff since I've been here. But the best thing I've seen, and this is when we find out whether you're my kind of people or not, right? But I saw a man in a crowd put his coat on too fast and accidentally punch a stranger in the face. <laughs> oh, who wants to touch me? Oh, my God. <laughs> What did I do? I don't know. And you know how guys have those big, heavy winter coats as well and give it a bit of... <laughs> he just clocked this dude. And I don't know what happened. He must have, like, not known he'd done it. Like, he must have thought he'd just bumped his hand on something. I don't know, because he went... and just walked off, OK? <laughs> this guy got punched in the face out of thin air, right? <laughs> it was amazing. He was just walking along, got punched, spun around to start a fight, there was no one there. <laughs> he just walked it off. It was amazing. He just went. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, because I'm not from here, I do feel slightly um, culturally obligated to be a little bit educational, you know, a little bit informative, and maybe tell you something important that you might not know uh, about my country. So, um, Risty is Australian for a hand job. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, <laughs> it's just an excellent word. It's a really great word, and I couldn't believe you didn't have it here. Like, it should belong to the world. I've never had a mission in life before, and now I do. It's this. I tell everyone. Like, I seriously do it at every single gig I do. Even if I'm just buying a coffee, I'm like, what's that, two quid? Thanks, Risty's a handjob. See you later. <laughs> I tell everyone. And the best response I've ever got from it was at a gig once, and there was an English guy in the crowd. And what was so beautiful about this is he obviously didn't mean to say it, OK? This just escaped out his mouth, right? I said, Risty is Australian for a handjob. And at the back of the room, I just heard this little quiet voice go, of course. <laughs> wonderful word. Wrist, it's kind of playful and fun, isn't it? It's like, wristy, hey, real, wristy, you know. It's kind of like a friend you haven't seen in a while, you know? It's like, ah, wristy, what are you doing here? <laughs> Pleasuring me, okay. <laughs> You're the best, you know, like hand job. It's very serious, isn't it? You know, hand job. <laughs> it's an occupation, really, isn't it? They've got a hand job. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I don't know if one day someone just looked at a flaccid penis and went, this is a job! <laughs> <laughs> for hands. <laughs> now, I don't want to take credit for Risty. I didn't make it up, but I've never heard it anywhere other than Australia. But it is give and take, because I'm happy to share Risty's with all of you. And yes, I know what I said. <laughs> but you should know that since I've been living in your lovely nation, you excellent people have taught me the word bellend. So, I can't thank you enough. Yeah, you, you deserve it. You deserve it. And I'm trying to fit in, you know, but you people don't make it easy for us sometimes. Like, the biggest cultural shock I've had since being here, which to all of you is perfectly normal, and you have no idea how messed up this sounds to someone who's not from here, OK? I was having a cup of tea with an English friend of mine, and she said to me, do you want a penguin? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> They're adorable. I mean, they like, where did you get it? <laughs> Do the zoos sell them now? I, I mean, I don't know how to take care of it. I mean, it's a bird, you know, but does it go in a cage or like in the bathtub? And they look like you need to oil them. Do you oil them? Like, they seem kind of oily. 
Mind you, I could like put a little bow tie on him and make some pretty sweet YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah, stop it, I will have a penguin. Yeah, go on, I will. And she said, no, you idiot. A penguin's a biscuit. And I was like, oh, how stupid of me <laughs> to confuse something with what it is. <laughs> I'm doing that all the time. When you said penguin, I should have known that you meant biscuit <laughs> and not, you know, a penguin. And she goes, don't worry about it, let's not fight anymore. I'm like, yeah, you're right, let's not fight. I brought some cake, would you like some cake? And she said, yes. And then I threw a spider in her face. <laughs> she's like, fucking Jesus, what did you want spider me for? And I was like, oh, you idiot. In Australia, cake is a spider. <laughs> I just assumed you'd know that. I just thought it bit me, I'm like, Jesus, did it bite you? They're poisonous, need the antidote. Do you want the antidote? She's like, yes, give me the antidote. I'm like, you sure you want the antidote? She's like, yes, give me the antidote. And then I shot her in the kneecap. <laughs> she's like, oh, what did you shoot her in the kneecap for? And I was like, oh, I don't like you. <laughs> Then I got out of there, uh, because that cup of tea escalated <laughs> very quickly into murder. <laughs> I'm quite scared of getting murdered. Oh, really? Duh. Uh, um, I'm scared of getting mugged as well. Not, not so much scared is that it would be annoying. You know, like, I like my stuff and I want to keep it, right? So I hatched a plan. Yeah. In my bag, I have two wallets. I have a real wallet. Real money, real cards. And I have a fake wallet, fake money, fake cards. A decoy wallet, if you will. So if I get mugged, mugger's gonna get fake wallet. And when they open it, there's gonna be a note. Well, what I wanna do is, you know how you can get those birthday cards where you can record a voice message? <laughs> so when mugger opens fake wallet, they're gonna hear my voice going, ha 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 you bell end. <laughs> Every now and then uh, back to Australia. My favourite thing about going back, uh, which doesn't happen every time, but happened the last time I went back, which was after 25 hours in the sky, right? I landed in Melbourne Airport and I went up to the customs man with my form and I gave him my form and he looked at the form and he looked at me and he said, Welcome home. <laughs> now, I don't know if they pay them to say that, but jeez, I was this close to climbing over the counter, jumping into his arms and giving him a wristy. I swear. <laughs> I know it feels a bit weird when, when I talk about it, about sort of sexual stuff, because it doesn't suit me. It doesn't suit... I'm not a sexual person. You know, some people are, you know, a sort of, oh, yeah, I'm a sexual... Oh, I'm just a sexual person, you know? <laughs> hey, you know, like, sexuality is fluid and, uh, uh, you know, I'm a puddle, so... <laughs> Stuff is so funny, right? I find it really funny uh, rather than sexy. Like, I saw on the front cover of a women's magazine, okay, one of their top stories was what he really thinks of your orgasm noise. <laughs> what? what he really thinks of your... Which suggests there was something we thought he thought about it. <laughs> That's not what he really thinks. <laughs> he thinks something else and he's keeping it from us. What he really thinks of your orgasm... I'm like, I don't think they give a shit. Do you? I don't think you care. I don't think guys give a shit in the world what your orgasm noise is ever. Unless it's like, police! <laughs> That's it. And I don't think anyone actually does that. I think all the noises are pretty similar. I think it'd be heaps more exciting if they weren't. Even if there was just one woman, just one woman who had some really weird, freaky noise just to scare the shit out of some dude. Just like, wow, or something like that. <laughs> And you wouldn't know which one she was. Like, normal, normal, normal. And then you go home with that, wow. Oh, my God! Are you okay? Yeah, it's really good. Wow. Oh, my God! <laughs> Do you know what I hate? You know when you're dating someone, right? Like, just sort of dating, and one of you jumps the gun and describes you as a couple. Too soon. Oh, no. Too soon. Are we not? I thought we were. No, no. OK. And it's usually me that does it. And then you have to have that awkward conversation where you're like, so, are you my boyfriend and it's just so heartbreaking when they go no. <laughs> I'm the postman 
I'm like, yeah, well, stop coming to my house, like, every day and bringing me stuff, you tease. <laughs> Give me a cheer if you love sleep in the room. Yeah. <laughs> Whose top three favourite things are sleeping, eating and sexy things? <laughs> yeah, it's everyone. It's the big three. It's a lot of people. It's mine. It's a lot of people's top three, right? Which is why I'm going to open a restaurant brothel hotel. <laughs> ah. Good idea, is it? I don't know, maybe they have them already. I don't know, I haven't been to a brothel in ages. What? No, I haven't been. <laughs> uh, I love everything to do with sleep, right? One of my favourite things, you know when you're just about to fall asleep, okay, like just about to clonk off, like, like that part, right? And part of your body feels like it's not getting enough attention, okay? <laughs> not like that. And it'll just be like, huh, <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? When your leg kicks out and you... Do I need to see a doctor? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. And you didn't do it. Just went, what? You didn't have anything to do with it. Just, ha! I love that. I love it so much. I like to think that it's leg going... <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Everyone's asleep. <laughs> Now's legs time to shine. <laughs> 19, okay, I had, a, I had a, a boyfriend, and this is completely true. If there was something I was too nervous to talk to him about, I would bring it up with him by pretending to talk about it in my sleep. <laughs> now, some of you are thinking, that is the most manipulative bloody thing I have ever, and some of you are thinking, that's brilliant. <laughs> Genius. This is how it went down, right? We go to bed, good night, good night, kiss, kiss, roll over, right? You'd have to throw in a bit of gibberish at the start to make it believable, obviously. You know, give it a bit of, oh, oh, Abraham Lincoln. Hmm, oh, monkeys. <laughs> and then we get to the beef of the situation, which was usually something along the lines of, oh, <laughs> no, I don't want to go to the reunion. <laughs> And then the next day, I'd be like, I slept weird. I slept really weird. Did I talk in my sleep? He's like, yeah. You said you didn't want to go to the reunion. I'm like, did I? That's weird. Because I totally want to go to your reunion with you. I absolutely want to drive you into the middle of nowhere and watch you get drunk with your mates who I don't like. I was really looking forward to that. Did I say I didn't want to? Maybe subconsciously. It's not a good idea, right? And this went on for a while until one night we went to bed, good night, good night, kiss, kiss, roll over. From his side of the bed, I hear a bit of, oh, wheelbarrow, flower pot. He figured it out. <laughs> and rather than confront me about it, he was giving it a go. <laughs> what a legend. What an absolute champion. I was so impressed. I know. him if he wasn't pretending to be asleep. I was thrilled, okay? And this is what he gave it. He gave it a bit of... Oh... Uh, I don't want to go to your mum's birthday dinner. <laughs> and then the next day, he's like, I slept weird. I slept really weird. Did I talk in my sleep? And I was like, no. <laughs> Didn't hear a peep out of you like a light you were. So mum's picking us up at six. Um, <laughs> uh, I've been silly to follow. Thank you so